right, Aquarius, what's going on with you? Let's check out your mid-August. Listen to me. Mid-August? Are you kidding me? There's snow flying outside. I can't believe I even thinking about mid-August. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Anyway, Aquarius, let's take a look at what's happening for you mid-December. Yeah, because that's where we are right now. Where's Mr. Char? There he is. Oh, my baby. Go baby. All right, let's see where we go. Let's see what's happening for you. Aquarius, what is going on? <sighs> Deep breath, everybody. Deep breath. I have gotten some questions about the uh, Jakara's class. My friend Jakara, who's teaching a class about um, love relationships, who people are in your life, your soul contracts. If you want to figure out who people are in your life, this is the class to take. It's next week. I'm going to cap it pretty soon. So if you want to jump on, jump on. Unknown territory, faraway places, indeed, faraway places, surrendering to the journey. All right, so some of you are coming, um, are making some decisions that are bringing you to a new place in your life right now. You might be looking at ending something, ending a career, ending a, um, a job, or you know, just pushing away from your comfort zone a little bit. And I, I, I feel like that's an excellent thing to do. Um, I do feel like it's going to add a lot of adventure to your life. Get ready for new horizons. Get ready, darling. What is going on here? Um, I feel like this has been a choice you've been making or working on making for quite a long time. It's possible this whole year has been leading up to this point. This year has been uh, as a universal five year, 2021, two plus two plus one is a universal five year. So that is about change. And you definitely seem to me that you're right on the verge of making that change. So let's see what's happening for you. Mid-December Aquarius, feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. It's so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. Moon energy underneath. We're going to have a full moon pretty soon, uh, December 18th in Gemini. So that is about releasing stagnant thought patterns. Um, you can be doing that. Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, Emperor, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and then the Nine of Swords. I know new. the new part here is kind of stressing you out. All right. Uh, I do feel like you make this decision and then you've stopped yourself. You keep like, what am I supposed to be doing? What, you know, does this feel right? Is this right for me? And then you like take action. You do some kind of, you know, very um, express, express yourself or you, you know, really um, step into your leadership role and you want to move things forward. It feels good for a while. And then you go like, should I be doing this? I think there's quite a bit of confusion or just a lack of clarity here. All right, the moon and the seven of cups, very much a lack of clarity, a lack, just a feeling like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm, what's on the other side of this. It's more like what's on the other side of this. It's not the decision itself. It's what it represents to you, but also what may come next that is kind of like, I don't know, could be giving you some fear. Like, okay, I, I see that I'm supposed to do this, but I don't know what happens on the other side of it. Um, and so you're having maybe some sleepless nights over this. Let me clarify a few things here. The Seven of Cups, confusion. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Five of Cups, devil energy, something to do with money. You know, this change may change your money. Um, you might also have a lot of obligations that you need to step up and pay, or you need to, um, make sure that when you're moving on from this particular venture, it does feel like a work reading to me or a career reading, abundant reading. Um, 
I feel like you're just worried about what's the next thing and you don't want to regret it, but it's time to go. It's time to end this. We have Venus going into retrograde um, December 19th, and we've already been feeling the, um, the shadow effects of that. So that can be a lot of confusion. This moon energy is a lot of confusion. And it's like you're clear and then you get out of focus. You have a good day and a bad day, a good day and a bad day. There might be a lot of other people involved. All right, there might be a lot of other people involved and you're worried about the fallout of that. All right, you're worried, definitely worry. I'm feeling a lot of worry here. A lot of worry. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, and the world. Raising Consciousness, Five of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely other people here. I see, I see a lot of fives here. What I don't see is the five of pentacles. I don't really feel like you're going to lose money or anything like that. I just feel like you think you are or that you think you might not be um, gaining as much money. You just think that there's a problem here, that you might need help from other people or help uh, financially from other people. I do feel like um, once we get into this Venus energy going retrograde, what we value, uh, what makes us comfortable, what we believe in, right? Believe in, but in terms of a value, not just a, not just like an idea out here. It's something that we make real in our lives. And this is the, this is the right decision. Whatever decision you have made or are in the process of making, it is correct um, for you to move on from a certain situation. And it's just the fear of the unknown that's holding you back. The fear of, well, what's on the other side of this? And, and uh, I know when I, when I started my YouTube channel, um, I was in the midst of releasing an old work situation that I had. And I wasn't ever thinking that the YouTube channel would become my work, but it has. And I didn't know that at the time when I was releasing the old work. I was just like, okay, it's just gonna go. And once you finally get to the end of that, of just being like, okay, I'm just going to release it, it feels good. It feels good to just make that decision, even if you don't know what's on the other side of it, all right? And I feel like it's going to also bring you peace of mind a little bit. It's going to, the fear is blocking your intuition. The fear of what the unknown is blocking the next level of consciousness. So I almost feel like you have a lot of spirit guides around you. This five of wands makes me feel like that. <laughs> but before that, you have somebody who is very much relying on you for this job, this work, this situation, and they may not be pleased that you change, that you decide to move forward or you move on. They may not be pleased about that. You have someone that you're tied to. Could be a Capricorn, an Aries. Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, okay? Somebody um, who is benefiting from what you're doing right now. And if you change it, I feel like you're also afraid that what's on the other side may hurt that other person. And so you kind of are like, eh, I don't, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There's definitely a lot of worry here, but there's also worry around a new beginning, Ace of Wands, the big thing for me here is that there's fear and that is truly blocking your creativity. The, nothing shuts down like fear. All right, so let's see here. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Libra Energy, and the Two of Cups. Wow, okay. I still feel a holding on. I feel like that person might be holding on to you. Um, I think it's a good relationship, could be a Libra also. I think it's a good relationship, but I, I think that the change, the change will do you good. And that can only expand that relationship. I don't see that, I don't feel like that's a, a bad thing. I just feel like it's more like, I'm not sure what it's going to look like, so I'm afraid to do this. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So Aquarius, let's step out of the fear. Let's look at Libra, Pisces, Aries, and Capricorn in the extended here. And let's see where you go, because it does feel like you're right on the verge, right on the brink of making a big decision here. And um, let's see where it goes. Okay. All right. So if you want to continue on with me, the link is below. I will see you over there.